A story you'll see only on 17. A Wake Forest man goes to a Raleigh car business to sell his vehicle, but leaves with a skull fracture. CBS 17's Caitlin Richards is speaking with Chad Shipley about what he says happened. Chad Shipley arrived to this We Buy Any Car location off Capitol Boulevard on January 12th to sell his sister's car, which was in his name. His sister waited in the car while Shipley went inside to ask what paperwork was needed. I was like, I'm not understanding. And about the time he says, do it, you understand this? And that's when he proceeded to brutally beat me up. Nobody knew this was going on inside this building because the windows are tinted. Shipley says he finally got his sister's attention outside and she dialed 911. Raleigh police and EMS rushing to the scene, but Shipley says even that didn't turn out how he expected. They're explaining to me that until they received the video footage of this, that they're charging me. The initial Raleigh police report shows both Shipley and the worker identified as Sherman James Jr. both charged. <sighs> Give me an ID on James Sherman Wiley Jr. Give me an ID on that guy, James Sherman Wiley Jr. Gliders, man. Listen, man. Gliders, man. <laughs> Yo, it's been rough dealing with you, Gliders. We had the guy the other day, the naked son, man. Beat the glider to death with the with the piece of wood. Chase the other glider in the house. Now you got this dude getting his ass kicked and begging his sister to call the police. God dog. What happened to y'all, man? What happened to y'all, gliders? What the fuck happened, man? You know, black people are always talking about their ancestors. Well, our ancestors wasn't shit. If they were enslaved by y'all, man. We got to rethink praising our ancestors, man. Our ancestors wasn't shit. Damn. Raleigh police and EMS rushing to the scene, but Shipley says even that didn't turn out how he expected. They're explaining to me that until they received the video footage of this, that they're charging me. The initial Raleigh police report shows both Shipley and the worker identified as Sherman James Jr. both charged with simple assault, but lists the worker's name as the only victim. There's my lip where it went through my broken teeth. I have my front face plate is completely fractured, what is considered a skull fracture in medical terms. Um, and I have to have plastic surgery. This is right here where I've been referral to a specialist for surgery. Shipley says these pages of medical referrals is only the start to his recovery. As for the investigation, Raleigh police have now obtained surveillance footage from We Buy Any Car. They have retrieved the video and have acknowledged that I was correct and have acknowledged that this changes everything. CBS 17 has requested the video, but police have yet to release it. We contacted the Raleigh location where the incident happened and they declined to comment. We also reached out to the We Buy Any Car corporate office and late this afternoon, they issued this statement saying, quote, there was an incident at We Buy Any Car in Raleigh involving a customer and one of the branch employees. Hate speech was used towards the employee and a physical confrontation followed. We Buy Any Car does not condone. Hate speech was used towards the employee. So the employee. The employee said, man, he called me the N-word, man. <laughs> he called me the sun word. Believe all sons, man. That was smart, man. That Listen, that works, man. You beat the shit out of a glider. Hey, man, why'd you beat the shit out of that glider, man? Oh, he called me the sun word, man. Oh, man. Let's go find him and beat him some more. <laughs> 
Which way did he go? Which way did he limp? <laughs> did he limp that way or that way? We can go find him and give him some more ass whooping. Don't any type of aggression, nor does it tolerate any form of discrimination or hate speech. We Buy Any Car is fully cooperating with the authorities. Shipley says any allegations of him using hate speech yeah. are completely false. Yeah. In Raleigh, Kaylin Richards, CBS 17 News.